Hey guys, so once again, these next two weeks for groceries are kind of off. So I'm only going to do about four meals for the next two weeks, but I still wanted to show you. Okay, so really quick, I didn't go to my regular HEB. I went to Target because last week they had that really huge baby sale, and I ended up getting almost $100 in gift cards. So it just made sense to go to Target and get my grocery haul, and then I got some other things but I will show you the grocery haul and then I'll just quickly show you what else I picked up that's not groceries. And Target to me, they have fruit, but my HEB grocery store is just a better value to get the fruit that my little one eats and that I eat. So we're probably going to do that either tomorrow or the next day. So what I'll do, because I want to get this video loaded up for you guys. I will just put part one and then I'll just do a haul whenever I get the fruit and the little extra things that I couldn't find at Target. And then I'll put part two and then link that down below and blah blah, you know, you, you get what I'm trying to say. So anyway, let me just show you my grocery haul. They had a really good deal at Target on these and I had a coupon. So I picked up two for just those nights that I just didn't feel like cooking, but just need a little something. So I got two of the DiGiorno. I've eaten DiGiorno before, but I haven't had the pizzeria. And these looked really good. And I just got the four cheese for both. Alright, so I picked up some pasta. Uh, three cans of the diced tomato sour cream. We were getting low on Parmesan cheese. And I've never made a recipe with this before, but one of my new recipes that I'm trying call for this, so this will be interesting to try. Some barbecue sauce, some Coke. That's for a recipe, not to drink. I'm not a big soda drinker anymore. This is wrapped up because I didn't want it to leak. I need to get it in the freezer, but it's a pulled pork, like butt, and two ground beef. Some Italian sausage back here in the back. I really love this macaroni and cheese, so I picked up some of that. Some taco seasoning, once again, they were 90% out of eggs, and the regular eggs were just about $4, and I said, uh-uh, <laughs> we don't go through eggs that much anymore since the price has gone up, so I just needed a couple, so I just picked up the small one, and this one was almost $2, so that's crazy, but anyway, just gotta work with what you got. Some salad mix. I thought I'd have some salads for lunch. Some cheese. Uh, Lucas really likes these, so I picked these up. I don't like to give it to him a lot, a lot, because it's got a lot, you know, some milk in it, but it's still good, and he really likes it, so I, I mix this up with his other things that he has. Some sliced cheese, two um, cream cheese packets, two coleslaw packets to go with the pork but and these look like just some snacks over here some wheat thins really love those uh, they had a really good cartwheel app Ooh, sorry about that they had a really good cartwheel offer for these and I've never tried them and they looked good Pepperidge Farm soft baked granola and it was 100% whole grain blueberry Anyway, I think it was like 20 or 25% off, so I thought I would try these just for like a snack or something. I think I always pick these up, but I don't care. I love them. Chips Ahoy. Uh, I had another good um, deal and coupon for these, so I picked two of these up. The Nutri-Grain Strawberry. I love these. These are really good as well. The uh, Peanut Butter um, Little Crackers. This was on sale. It looked good. I haven't tried this. I love muffins. And it was pretty much, it was only like 15% off, but sometimes I just want a little something different, you know? Strawberry Pop-Tarts. That's not a surprise. Some bread. And underneath here is just some hamburger buns. And I had another good deal on this. Chocolate chip cookie dough. For those moments mama needs something and the same with all this that's what this stuff is <laughs> pretty much just chocolate for an emergency stash these are really really good these justin's peanut butter cups they're organic 
these are really good. They're dark chocolate. I think they have regular too. Pick that up. And these, you guys, if you have the cartwheel, these are still 50% off. And this one was really good. I think there was three flav flavors at my store. And the uh, Molta Lava Cake was really good. So I just picked it up to just to put it in my chocolate stash. And some mini M&Ms. I kind of snack on these and bake with these. But, you know, we're not going to tell anyone that. <laughs> Alright, I think the only food left is this. I usually don't feed them these, but I like to have some of these as backups because he usually has our food or fruits, veggie, or I fix them something. But anyway, these are really good to have for backup in case those nights because there are some times when I go to make him dinner and I realize there's really nothing in the fridge for him. So it's good to have these for backups. So I just picked up four of those. All right, so that is all of the grocery haul. So if you're done watching just watch out for part two whenever i go to the heb store to get my fruit and a couple of other things that i couldn't find but if not stay tuned and i'll show you really quick what else i picked up all right i got some tissues the up and up brand i mean i like it i can't i don't like really rough um kleenexes to blow my nose but these are pretty soft and they're a little bit cheaper i think i mean i could be wrong but Anyway, needed some light bulbs. Picked up some of these. Had another good deal. I think it was like a $3 off of these. So I picked that. And it was a bonus. So I was like, what? So I checked it. And it was still the same price. So I picked these babies up. Some Cascade Dawn. Some Sensitive Satin Care um, Shaving Cream. Love that. Some sponges. And our dishwasher's been kind of nasty lately, so I thought I'd give these a try and give this and see. Hopefully it cleans it out. Our water is pretty hard here in Texas, or where we're located in Texas, so. And just picked up some contact solution. That's the Up and Up brand. They had another good deal on this. I had a coupon and a cart will offer. Just some Crest Complete. Mascara. I think all their makeup was 10% off, so this was included. Our cart will offer. And then their shoes, all their clearance shoes, it was 20 or 25% off, so these were $6.48. I thought these were so cute. I got a size up, so they'll be good. Those are for Lucas. Um, a Febreze for my car. I really love these. We are wanting to put away a lot of Lucas's clothes and save them just in case we have a boy next go around. So I needed some of these because we're running out of room. So I've heard these work really well, but I just picked up the three medium pack. And hopefully this can help us out. We'll probably go up to like 12 months in his clothes. And then after that, we would, you know, sell or consign and whatnot. But anyway, we're almost there. So I just needed to save some. All right, down here. Just picked up some Tide Free and Gentle. I've always used that. Love that. And I'm kind of mad because I wanted to pick these up for my son to give these a go to try. But this was like the only, and then the other colors they had were the pink and purple and then yellow. And it's like, yeah, he can use that. But at the same time, I was thinking, why can't you have... A mixture of maybe a girl set and then a boy set. I don't know. I just thought, you know, but whatever. It's fine. We'll just keep this one in the house. He usually, we probably won't take these out anyway. I just, usually sometimes though, the Munchkin brand has like the colors kind of separated. So that was kind of shocking. And too, there was a lot missing. So they could have sold out. I saw this on another blog. Well, I should say, like a YouTube blog thing. And it was a string of lights for $3. And I think it's battery operated. Anyway, I thought I'd put this over my computer just to give a little color and light. Because I've been looking for something like this. And they finally got them in our dollar section. So, I'm going to try those out. Some potty pads. And lastly, they had a cartwheel offer for these and he's getting low on PJs so I picked up two nine month Carter's PJs. Let me see if I can show you really quick. This one is an alligator. So cute. And this one is a, I guess, I'm not sure if that's a shark maybe and a crab. 
kind of looks like a shark. I wouldn't think it's a dolphin, but because these down here look like sharks. So these are so cute with the little feet. And I like these because a lot of times Carter's just has like the fleece. And these thinner ones will be great for the summer. So anyway, that's just the extra stuff I have. And if you still stay with me through this whole video, don't forget to stay tuned. And in the next couple of days, just look out for that part two. And I'll link it down below. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Alright, guys. Here is my meal planner. And let me show you the next two weeks. So, this will be July 13th through the 19th. And like I said, in my grocery haul, I'm only doing two meals for the next two weeks. So, just four meals. Because it's just one of those crazy weeks again, like previous re weeks. So... I'm going to do a pulled pork with coleslaw, and I'm going to try the a crock pot taco pasta. Look good. It was on Pinterest. And then here's my market list. And then this one will be July 20th through the 26th. And it's going to do a crock pot sausage and cheese tortellini. And I found this on Pinterest, but then when I was reading it, the lady said she just did it on the stove top. So I might just do it on the stove top because that might just take about 45 minutes or so. And I could do that while Lucas is napping. And I might do that instead of the crock pot. We will see. And lastly, I'm going to try a crock pot meatloaf. I love crock pots during the summer because it's just so much easier instead of turning all the of and on and whatnot. So anyway, those are my four meals for the next two weeks. Thanks for watching.